Finally tonight, we're going to show you something you won't believe, and we're not sure we believe it. But our Nick Watt saw it, photographed it, and we're going to show it to you. Now, for purposes of comparison, take a look at this. This is a ball of thread and a sewing needle. And the eye of that needle is so small that most of us have a dickens of a time trying to get a thread through it. But now, imagine an artist who can create an entire work of art inside the eye of that needle. Here's Nick. Perched on that pinhead is a $300,000 sculpture. Under the microscope, an elephant carved from a fragment of a grain of sand. I had to really scrape and just take my hand away and scrape. The tail is a dust fiber plucked from the air. Wigan's sculptures are all smaller than the head of a pin or the eye of a needle. Do you enjoy this? I enjoy it when I finish it. Not working on it, no. It's, it's misery. It's painstaking. He uses tiny homemade tools and paints with a hair plucked from a house fly's back. That is a bit where the psychiatrist probably needs to see you afterwards. <laughs> he gets satisfaction from other people's amazement. Is it static? There is. There is. There's a static moving it. I'm not doing that. There's a static again. Disaster can strike at any time. It struck Alice in Wonderland. I was carrying it towards a needle. And then I looked through, again through the microscope and she'd gone, disappeared. I think I inhaled her. And if it all goes wrong, calmly, Wigan starts again. You know, I think I'm the most patient man on earth. This obsession began when Wigan was a lonely five-year-old. I, I have learning difficulties. Um, you know, I can't read or write, but I had to find a way of expressing myself. He started making houses for ants. Recently, he made this doll's house. That doll is the size of a human blood cell. The teachers at school made me feel small. So they made me feel like nothing. I'm trying to prove to the world that nothing doesn't exist. That less can be more. People haven't seen the best of me yet. I'm going to take it smaller. Even smaller than Charlie Chaplin balanced on an eyelash. Nick Watt, ABC News, Birmingham, England. Told you you wouldn't believe it. Willard just sold his life's work to a collector for $20 million. That's World News for this Wednesday. I'm Charlie Gibson.